I'm starting with hot sausage, about a half a pound of hot, of hot sausage. I used links uh, that I removed the casing and then broke up the sausage and put it in the pan. Um, and it's partially cooked. So right now I'm going to add one whole carrot that I diced. It's, uh, I would call it a medium dice. And the carrot is going to cook while the sausage finishes up. I'm cooking over medium heat. And I just want that, that onion to sweat a little bit. So we'll let that go for about a minute. This is not um, a uh, traditional lentil soup. This is my lentil soup. And if you follow along with me, you know that I like to have flavor in my food. So I add uh, a bit of flavor whenever I get the chance. I'm going to add three cloves of garlic. I'm using my garlic press rather than uh, mincing the garlic. I like to, to uh, use my garlic press when I'm making a soup because that means that the garlic really does meld into the soup a bit more. You don't get pieces of garlic in your mouth. Stir that around for about a minute. This really does go very quickly. Now I'm adding a tablespoon of tomato paste. This tomato paste I had in my freezer. I take the cans of tomato paste and I dole them out onto a plastic wrap, wrap them individually in one tablespoon portions and keep them in my freezer. That way they're ready to use when I'm making a recipe. I think that's a great tip. If you don't do it, it's something you might want to do. It's great to have a little bit of tomato paste uh, for so many things. Stir that around. Now I'm adding the spices. There's one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. that around, let it cook together. Mm, it smells delicious right now. Delicious. Now I'm going to add my one cup of red lentils, one large carrot cut into medium dice, And I'm adding six cups of chicken stock. If you wanted to make um, a lentil soup that was vegetarian, you could of course leave out the uh, hot sausage and use vegetable stock. There we go. Now I'm going to bring this to a boil and then cover it and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. The soup is done cooking. Now it's time for the taste test. Let's see how it came out. Mm. Ooh, steamy. So good with the addition of that hot sausage. It doesn't make it hot. It just gives it a little spice. It's so delicious. So one of the things you might want to do at this point is cool the soup and then take half of it and puree it. It'll give a little more body to the soup, but I like it the way it is. Uh, chunky and delicious and just home style. 